When you set up your Tesla account, you use an email and password. To supplement the security of your account, Tesla offers multi-factor authentication. Authentication using two or more different factors to achieve authentication. These factors include something you know, for example, a password or PIN, something that you have, for example, cryptographic identification device or a token, or three, something that you are, for example, biometric data like fingerprints or eye scans. For your Tesla account, your password is the first factor. Personally, I use at least a 14-digit random password having alphanumeric and symbols. Avoid using the same passwords on more than one login. The authentication app provides the second factor, which is a token on a separate device. In this case, my smartphone. On the Tesla website, you can find that they give three different ways to set up this feature. I will be using my smartphone along with my PC, which happens to be the second method listed here. Step one is to install an authenticator app on your smartphone. Many are available, for example, Microsoft, Google, Duo, etc. I use one made by LastPass on my iPhone. Here I place the Tesla app next to the authenticator on this phone screen page. Step two is to go to my computer and log into the Tesla account on their website. Click on the account button on the upper right side of the screen. On the next screen, enter your email address and password, and then press sign in. On the dashboard page, click on the profile settings button on the left side. Step three, on the right, notice the multi-factor authentication. Click on manage. On the get started page, we need to follow these steps. Press next to sign in, enter email and password, and then click on the sign in button. Step four, this is where the authenticator app on the smartphone will be used. Open the app on the phone and press the plus button on the upper right side of the screen for this particular app. Now take the phone and scan the QR code that is on the computer screen. This will set up an account on the Authenticator app and provide the six digit code that will be used as the second factor. Go back to the PC and press the next button. Step five, now type in the six digit code that the app generated. The next screen will show 10 single use backup passcodes for emergency use in case your device is damaged. Save these in a secure location. Now your account has multi-factor authentication enabled. Step six, you will receive an email to your registered email address that verifies the multi-factor authentication has been successful. If you need to create a new backup passcodes, click on the manage button here. And if you need to add additional registered devices, delete them, or change their name, click on the Manage button here. Just in case you need it, I'll include the link to Tesla's instructions in the video description. And that completes my video on multi-factor authentication for your Tesla account. Please leave any comments or questions down below. Thanks for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already done so, it helps the channel grow. And I'll see you in the next video.